Job was detailed by his company to go and deliver forever living products to someone who had ostensibly ordered for these products online. Job, first of all, rode his bike to Ikurudu, and eventually he was directed to proceed to Shagamu, not knowing that he was walking into a kidnapper's den. On arriving at the location, which turned out to be a church, Job was, not only did they collect the forever living products, they immediately took Job hostage. On my lifting of my head from where I bent down to drop the item, they held me with the rope, the wire on my throat. I now struggle and fight, struggle and struggle and struggle with them. So it gets to a point, I was about to escape. He rushed me again, and he held me down again. That is how the pastor now injured me, and I fell unconscious. We paid the man down, and pastor injected him. When pastor injected him, he gave us instruction to take the man to, okay, to take the man to the underground, and it's called special guest house. That's what the pastor do call the place. So we took the man there and left the man there. We do feed the man every morning and night. That's the pastor's instruction. We should feed the man every morning before closing. The night when we resume work, we feed him. And when we want to feed him, we untie him. He will eat and rest before tying him back. I gave him ketamine injection. Because the man was struggling and I didn't want him to be um, 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 injured. Because I must confess to you, anything could have happened during the struggling. So I went in there. Is this injection I used to inject uh, these animals and everything I can, which I know paralyzes them? I put it in egg to catch snakes. So I quickly went to get this and inject his food to stop him from struggling. Winners is not involved in this by any means. What you see there was my uh, my own portion from the medical outreach when I was in Winners. It was always hanged in my office there with uh, Bishop Yetiko's photo. 